Toss time! Rohit Sharma will spin the coin. You won't believe what happened with the Indian cricket team. Between 31st January and 31st July, they lost 15 tosses back to back. The chances of this are just 0.003%. That is rarer than being blindfolded and picking out the only orange candy from a box of 30,000 mango ones. Let's break it down. One toss, two outcomes, win or lose. So one in two or 50% chance of losing. Two tosses, two times two or four outcomes. So one in four or 25% chance of losing both. Three tosses, two times two times two or eight total outcomes. So 12.5% chance of losing all. What about 15 tosses? That is two multiplied 15 times or 32,768 outcomes. All losses is just one out of those outcomes or 0.003% chance. That's pretty rare. But what about the next toss? It definitely feels like India should win, but that is just your brain craving balance. The chances are still a 50-50. For example, in four tosses, most outcomes are a mix of wins and losses, but that means nothing for the next toss. It is completely independent and the coin doesn't care about the previous ones. This bias is called the gambler's fallacy and it occurs frequently. For example, in an exam, after marking option A three times, it feels like the next one can't be A, but it absolutely can. Or at traffic lights, after five reds, you expect a green, but the lights are completely independent. Such biases affect our everyday choices. Being math fit means thinking clearly and deciding smarter.